Hi, it's Ant here again, and I'm just going to do a quick screencast so we can see how we can get our a cappella to follow the tempo of the track. Okay, so in the previous screencast, we imported this a cappella track. So just hear a bit. I know no rules. I know you know the fools. We're in love with a beautiful game. We're no shame. That's cool. True. Okay, so if I change the tempo of the track, though. So let's say I'll change that to one, two, five. You see the MIDI parts move, but the a cappella doesn't. So if I play the track. So it's all over the place, it's totally out of time. Okay. So I'll undo that. The reason for that is that this audio track is samples based audio. Now the, the quickest and easiest way I can explain this is samples is based on the sample rate of the session and we're working at 44.1k so it's 44,100 samples a second so no matter what tempo the session is running at in terms of beats and other program parts we it still passes by at 44,100 samples a second for audio so what we need to do is change the audio to tick based audio and to do that we need to change this little selector here, I'll zoom in. This is the time based selector. So I click on that, we can change that to ticks. And then we also need to activate elastic audio and that's this grayed out section here. So if I tick that, and for now I'm gonna say polyphonic. Okay, these are the different algorithms that we use for elastic audio. But for now let's use polyphonic. And this means it's analysing the track when it goes grey like that. And now we're back. So, what has happened now is Elastic Audio has analysed the track and this is a tick-based track. So, what that should mean is that it should behave in the same way as the MIDI does. So, when I change the tempo of the track, the, the length of the audio track will change as well. So, let's just try it again, okay? So, I'll try 125 again. So, there you go. You see that changed length. And if I play it, I know no rules, I know you know the fools We're in love with a beautiful game, we're no shame That's cool, true, we jump in the queue Complete type brothers with our beat time tools And that should follow it in any direction So even if, let's say I'll take that down quite low And then we listen to a bit I know no rules, I know you know the fools We're in love with a beautiful game, we're no shame That's cool, true, we jump in the queue Complete type brothers with our beat time tools Okay, so we've now got an a cappella which will follow the tempo of the track no matter what we set it to. Obviously when we make it very low that introduces some artifacts where it's trying to stretch the audio out but we can now change the tempo certainly at least a little bit and have the a cappella follow no matter what happens. Okay so I hope that's been useful for you and I'll see you on the next screencast.